So first you need to open terminal and git clone this command to download certain files. After that you need to move into the directory of the downloaded files and uh, let's move into the directory and now you need to run go and wait for the installation to complete. And while the installation continues, let me tell you something that I also make review videos and they are not cheap, they are quite costly. So I recently made one, the OnePlus Nord CE2 5G and it took a lot of effort but did not get much attention. So please if you want, you can go and watch this video. The link is there in the description or you can click, click on the i button up there. And if you like the video, do comment how you feel about the video, what you like and don't like about the video, just comment down there so that I can improve my video in the coming episodes. And also, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you want more review videos like that. Now finally open Mate Tweaks and from there you need to change the compositor to Compass. Wait for a few seconds and finally you will see the compositor has changed. Now we can open the Compass settings. So what we ran previously was basically to install Compass 0.8 and we will like to use the blur feature of Compass. So we install that one. Now you just need to enable blur from the settings page and after it is done. Also you need to install Emerald. So if you don't have it installed, you probably won't. You just need to run sudo apt install emerald and emerald dash that is hyphen tweaks i'm putting all the codes in the description you can copy and paste from there now let us change the profile of the terminal and uh, get some transparency which will actually be reflected with blur as translucency because of compass. Now let us open uh, Brave and let's install the theme that is the graphite node theme that we are going to install. We are going to use the default icon pack that is provided by graphite GTK theme or recommended by graphite GTK theme. We just move to the website and then we install from there. There is a Tela Circle icon pack. So as you can see there is some weird system border and then uh, system window decoration along with Chrome's own window decoration, I mean Braves and from there you can just uh, right click, check the option to use system title bar. Now let us open the file manager and from here we need to create two new folders in the home directory that is the dot icons and the dot themes folder now open another instance of the file manager from there you just need to go to the downloads folder and open the icons package that is the uh, this compressed archive file and you just need to copy and paste or extract all the folders there in the dot icons directory you do the same thing the thing for the dot themes except for the fact that you need to extract the themes from from the compressed archive file after it is done you can open appearances and from there just click and change the theme of the Marty desktop as you can see we are using the graphite node theme now also for the icons, as we have installed, we can select the Taylor icon pack.
Now let's again open the browser and uh, let's search for good wallpaper. I'm going to put this wallpaper in my uh, the link in the description so that you can download it from there easily. So finally, I got my wallpaper as you can see. Now let's open Mate Appearances again, uh, Mate Tweaks again, and from there we can select the panel tab and change the type to Cupertino. As you can see, it uh, gives us a dock and the upper panel quite easily. So that is there. Now right click on the panel and open settings to select transparent option which goes with the current theme. As you can see, you can get a very light amount of blur, right? with the terminal so let's try and increase the amount of blur so open the uh, configuration for compass go to the blur option and now as you can uh, tweak and change the options here to achieve a fair amount of blur so as you can see you can just play with the settings there so that you can achieve your desired amount of blur in compass also you can just uh, see what the values are uh, i achieve as final and just change the configuration accordingly Also in Compass there are several cool animations to choose from. As you can see in my video, as I'm changing the uh, animations here, you can also open the settings and change the anim animations accordingly. There are several animations to choose from, also there are several funky animations that you can choose with additional animations turned on in Compass. So happy tweaking. So that is for this video, thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe if you think my video was useful to you. Thanks a ton again. I'll catch you in the next one.